Get free tech advice for your business from O2 Gurus. Search O2 Business for more. Hey guys, you're watching BTEC. I'm Basil. This is the Moto X Play. The Moto X Play announced alongside the Moto G third generation and the Moto X Style is the well, mid-ranger of the bunch, I suppose. It's around £270 here in the UK, which is a pretty decent price considering what you get on here. Specifically, I'm talking about a 5.5 inch full HD display, 16 gig or 32 gig onboard memory, micro SD expandability, and the real thing I'm talking about, let's face it, that 30 36 30 milliamp battery. If anyone had any concerns about this thing not lasting a full day, well, then I don't know what planet you're living on, because frankly speaking, it's the best screen to battery spec ratio I've seen in a very long time. So let's take a look at the box. You can see on the front, you've got a picture of the device itself. You can also see green accents across the box. I've got my trusty scalpel in hand for when the time comes. Down at the base, you can see that I've got the 16 gigabyte version. I've got the black version as well, but you can swap out your back panel to give your phone a little bit of a different style. It's also going to be compatible with Motomaker. Motomaker will afford you the luxury of doing loads of stuff, changing more than just your back panel. Um, you can even have personalized greetings on there, etc. You can also see powerful 1.7 gigahertz octa-core processor. That's a Snapdragon 615. 3630 milliamp cell, vivid 5.5 inch 1080p display, and it's got Gorilla Glass 3, I think it is, on the front. Um, you've also got 21 megapixel camera with a color correcting temperature CCT dual LED flash. So that's the Sony sensor, the new Sony sensor. Um, you can also see 5 megapixel front camera, scalpel slice. That's the first slice on this box, it reveals as I open it the Moto X Play. First impressions, mmm, plastic back. It's actually the best plastic back that I've seen in terms of the ones at the event were really, really garish and orange and everything. You can also see all those key specs I was telling you about on the front there. What I can do, I can power it up. It's actually lighter than I remember it, which is pretty ace. Um, and the fact there's no removable battery uh, means that the battery is already obviously in there. So it's just vibrated. It's around 10 millimeters thin, thin or thick. So it's a thicker device than um, most out there. But for that 36, 30 milliamp battery, that is a sacrifice I am all too willing to make. You've also got a mono front facing speaker, not a stereo front facing speaker. And that was a quick boot up. Um, I'm gonna put that down to one side so we can take a look at the box contents and I will talk you around the device. So for that 170 pounds, you are getting a USB cable to micro USB. You're also getting a power connector. Now the 615 can't recall off the top of my head if it supports quick charge. Don't think it does. Um, but wow, that's awesome. You've got two USB outs from here. So even if this isn't a quick charging power connector, it'll charge your phone and your other phone or your accessory if you want to. It's also a neat SIM card eject pin here. Great plastic element there to give it a little bit of a differentiating factor. And finally, read me, quick start guide. Um, pictures, which everyone loves, let's face it. You can pan across. You've got all of Motorola's cool features in here, Motorola Assist, um, and on top of that, it's also got the gesture-centric support and the um, voice actions that um, everyone's grown to love about the Moto X, which is great. Now I can pull that into frame. Uh, so we've got a super black one, we've got a black background, so apologies for that. What I will do to up the contrast a bit, I will put the box in the background. Um, let's see if I can keep that open, there you go. So you can see the phone right here, 5.5 inch full HD display, it actually looks very good, um, I'm not gonna lie. Head on, it's nice and superficial, reminds me massively of the Nexus 6, unsurprising given Motorola's design language there. Front facing five megapixel camera, right hand side you can see power button and volume rocker. Down at the base is that um, micro USB connector, left hand side no buttons, 
up at the top micro, uh, sorry, nano SIM slot and a 3.5 mil jack. Like I said, this black version's backing actually looks and feels better than I remember it at the launch event, um, which immediately suggests that if you are thinking of picking up a colored variant, you might want to opt for the black one if you want something a little bit more subtle, a little bit more demure. You can also see non-removable back cover. There's that 20 megapixel camera with that CCD flash I was talking about, dual tone for a better white balance. I'm really going to be putting this camera through its paces. One of the first to have the new Sony sensor. Um, so can't wait to try that out. So have we got all the snaps in place? Yeah, it's all snapped up and I'm not gonna set this up now. I'm gonna have to keep you guys in suspense. We'll set this up, do a few tests on it. If there's anything you wanna see, any quick videos, any quick on the go videos specifically, you want us to test out, fire them in the comments section below. If you like the video, make sure you click that thumbs up button. And of course, if you like Beats Hicks in general, subscribe. That's how you're gonna stay on top of everything we do. Thanks for watching. The Sony Xperia Z4. I wasn't even that annoyed when I heard it wouldn't be called the Z4 here in the UK. It's a Z3 Plus. The Plus seemed a little bit more appropriate. After all, it's a very similar device to its predecessor. It looks very similar. It has a waterproof body, lots of cores, three gig of RAM, a 5.2 inch full HD display. Sony Xperia Z3 Plus, pretty appropriate name. So what is new? It's a thinner phone with less flaps, more memory, and a new processor. That sounds great, right? Well, it should be great, and it's great for the most part, but there are some major shortcomings. We're going to start off with the design, and fortunately this is one area that Sony builds upon its successes. I love the Z3. Classical, sleek, pretty timeless. The Z3 Plus is better. Well, it's thinner.